Welcome to the show. I'm Ilion Amprin. And I'm Kedja Game, and we're here at the desk instead of Xavier standing over there for the daily announcements. On today's show, we'll take a look at what's going on in the den. See how the dancers are preparing for their big concert. Talk with Coach Johnson about the boys' basketball team. And listen to a couple of nightmare stories about students at work. But first, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag. So you've heard Xavier talk about the Bezos Scholars Program the last few days, but have you really stopped to consider it? If you're one of the 12 students who were selected to attend the all-expense-paid conference in Aspen, Colorado this summer, you'll receive ongoing mentorship after the conference, leadership development, and $1,000 in funding to launch a community change program to make a difference in Santan Valley. Fill out an application at bezosscholars.org lead by January 31st. The Fall Blood Drive is just four days away. Get your applications in by tomorrow and enjoy a donut and a chance to win gift cards or movie tickets. Remember, your donation could save as many as three lives this holiday season. So I literally just figured out why that place by the cafeteria is called the Den. Yeah, why is that? Because the coyotes have dens. Ha <laughs> ha, you're such a genius. I know. Now let's go talk to Mr. Bowman and see what's up with the business management program. The Den is our on-campus store, but what is the true purpose of the Den and who operates the Den? Today, we'll see what goes into the preparation of a working day in the Den. In the Den, we sell Doritos Flamos, and we sell Chili Cheese Fantastics, and Flamin' Hot Fantastics, and we sell two different types of Rice Krispie Treats. There's the Whole Grain Rice Krispie Treats and the Chocolate Chip Rice Krispie Treats. We sell water bottles. Uh, we sell the uh, Nacho Cheese Doritos and the Ranch Doritos and just a bunch of cool snack stuff. Working at the Den is a challenge. You have to understand how to count money and understand how um, you can't be disrespectful to your customers. You have to show respect to everybody and respect your authority. The purpose is to give students a direct line from the classroom environment and then hopefully something externally, like workplace. So a lot of things we do in there, we apply it to some hands-on activities. We use our computers, we use different things in our program to try and apply externally. So for example, right now we're using Excel that I love. I find it exciting, but translate that to the students, mm, it's hit and miss. Working at the den is fun because you get to sit in here and you've got all your equipment, you've got your system, you've got your products, and then the students come in and they've got their money and they buy the stuff, and we get to scan it, we put it all in the system, and it's just, it's fun, it's a great working environment, and it gets us a lot of good experience. The den is located near the drop-off spot for all the buses where they come in. There's a competing business right next door. I think it's called the Smart Snacks but I could be wrong. But we're located right next to that there. Um, I'm learning my people skills, um, learning how to use Excel spreadsheets. I'm understanding um, what I want to do in the future and how to spend my money accordingly and how to make my money faster than I'm spending it. I think not just working in the store or a retail environment, but it's really the, the professional skills. All the stuff that they aren't um, they can't teach on the business field or in any job you have. They can't teach you to come in on time. They can't teach you to do your responsibilities. Those are some things that you're already supposed to know. And so a lot of the students who don't know that or a lot of the employers who are looking for good employees might have the technical skills. Like they know how to use this program. They know how to do this. They know how to run a register. But if they don't have professional skills, then it's not going to be helpful for either party. The DEN helps our understanding of business because we learn our stuff in the classroom and at a lot of other business focused programs we wouldn't get a chance to apply our skills that we learn and 
during this program, we get to actually come to a real business. We get to order products. We get to determine the price markups and all that different stuff to make our profit. And we get to really apply just all the different concepts we learn in the classroom in a real life scenario. We have very little wait time. I mean, the lines I see there is so long, but our prices are very, very competitive or very cheap. So I think that's the best way you can get your products at a cheaper price from your own student body. All right, thank you. Ah, thank you. This has been Ashley Kruger. Kedrick Game. Riker Karecki. And Xavier Kerner reporting for the rundown. Speaking of Mr. Bowman. Nine of the young ladies enrolled in software and app design will be attending the Girls Get It conference two weeks from tomorrow. They will be participating in workshops, learning more about opportunities in the IT field, and meeting women who currently work in technology. The software and app design class has been growing every year. If you would like to know more info on this CTE program, see Mr. Bowman in room 317. The Brain Change to Mind Psychology Club is a student-led organization dedicated to mental health conversations. They meet in room 560 on Tuesdays after school and Thursdays during conference. All are welcome to come check out a platform to share your voice and raise awareness about mental health. Did you know there's an assembly in the CPAC tomorrow? No, what's it about? It's about the dangers of opioid use and addiction. Seniors will attend first period, junior second, sophomores third, and freshmen will go during fifth period. And just a reminder about theater etiquette, and to the auditorium quietly, put your phones on silent, feet belong on the floor, and no food or drinks are allowed. Treat the building with respect, and not like it's your bedroom. Head over to Firehouse Subs on Rand House Monday to support your student council. Mention CHS anytime from 5 to 9, and a portion of your purchase will help raise money for the Mr. CHS pageant and prom. I forgot one more thing about the CPAC. I think they got the point across about it behaving at the assembly. I'm done with that part. The fall dance concert is this weekend. Check out what Serena and Melody put together about how stressful the week heading into the concert is. Hi, I'm Anna. Um, I'm historian for Rush Dance Company. This will be my third year on Rush. I'm Shanice, and I've been on Rush for four years. And I'm president. I'm Mackenzie. This is my first year on Rush. I am the chairman of social committee. I'm Anastasia. This is my first year on Rush. I'm an understudy. I'm also part of the costume committee. I'm Karamaya. This is my first year on Rush, and I'm costume manager. Genesis. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> is this where I sit? Is this good? Okay. Hi, I'm Genesis. I'm Vice President. You guys! I lost my turner! I'm pretty upset, honestly, because somebody stole my turner and I don't know who it was. I feel like Shanice did it. I don't really know what Anapology's problem is. I mean, I don't understand why she thinks I took her turner. I have my own turner. This week has just been like, oh my god, Shanice arguing with Anna about a turner. Like, girl, we got Deja being on her phone like you're new to the team. Like, what's up with that? Shanice pushed my phone out of my hands in class and it hit the ground pretty hard. So next time, if you decide to push my phone, Shanice, um, $900 in the mail, uh, I expect it. And don't even get me started on Deja. She really had the audacity to be on her phone in practice? What she think this is? Oh my god. I actually don't know what's going on. And then we got Genesis always being lazy like, Patrick, get it together. I'm so over this. Anna let me borrow her turner at the beginning of practice, so... But I just didn't want to say anything. <laughs> so yeah, I don't really know what her problem is. I don't know why she's acting so mean to me. I feel like I've been working really, really hard these past couple of weeks, and yeah, I just feel like she didn't... Oh, she didn't... Way, Anna. Thanks for letting me borrow your turner. Make sure to head out to the concert Friday or Saturday at 7 p.m. Sharp. Cheddar. Do you know why dinosaurs can't play basketball? Why? Because they're dead. 
But, um. Are you done with your bad jokes yet? I mean, I guess. But you know what isn't a joke? Our basketball team. The end of the semester is only a few weeks away. If you have at least 10 absences in any of your classes, you need to pick up an appeal form in the front office and submit that by December 9th for review by the administration. Failure to do so will result in a loss of credit for each class. Having money is really nice, but I don't have a job, so can't relate. Dude, same. Work sounds pretty crazy, so let's see what some of our fellow students have been through. I'm Elaine Apple. I've been working at IHOP for about six months or so. I just became a server not longer than three weeks ago. And then, <laughs> about, I think it was last weekend. So I walked up to my first table today, and I went up to the table, and, I'm a, and I went up to them. And I said, hi, can I take your order? You know, are you ready to order? So I pull up my book, and then my, my push on nail pops off, lands on the table, and they both stare at me. They all look at me, and I was like, that's disgusting. And I started dying laughing, and I didn't know what to do. And then I, and they both looked at me, and they didn't know I, I so then I picked it back up. In the process of picking back up, I pinched it wrong, and then it shot up out of the man's menu. And I said, I'm so sorry, this is awful. <laughs> and they looked at me, and they said, it's okay, we're not the type of people to be super disgusted by that. So then I just, Picked it back. Oh, actually, you know, he lifted up the menu and poured it back into my hand. <laughs> and then I just went on as if nothing happened, even though I was pretty much dying laughing when taking the order. I'm Serena. Uh, I've been working at a Chinese restaurant for almost a year. Um, so one day I was working, and my coworker asked me to take care of his table. So I walk over there with the menu because she just came in, and I realized she's blind. So I gave a blind person a menu, and hopefully she didn't see it. But that wraps up this week's episode. But stick around after the closing animation to watch the staff here at the Rundown for our first pre-Thanksgiving dinner together. I will honestly, I will give it to you. I think they were on the clock. Oh, no. That's what Grandma said. Santa Claus is a lot. Grandma was kissing my watch. Wait, what? I wasn't Santa Claus. Santa Claus. Attention. Whoa, that's weird because Santa Claus is. Attention, everyone. Uh, before we begin, um, since it's his first year with the show, I think Ben should lead us in the saying of Grace. What? Ben! Grace! Grace? She graduated last year. They want you to say Grace. The blessing! <laughs> oh. We're grateful for the show and all the hard work we do. Thanks for all the humbling setbacks. Thank you for our advisor and the willingness of the teachers to always let us barge in and film. Thanks for this feast that we will all enjoy soon. We're not really sure why you give us block days. Amen. 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 Well, Demi, if this turkey tastes half as good as it looks, I think we're all in for a really big treat. Hey, save the neck for me, Tristan. <laughs> Oh. oh my god! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you crying? I told you.
after you put it in too early? What? It's just a little dry, that's all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll be fine. It'll be fine. I've seen worse. Here's the heart. <laughs> <laughs>